Star scorecard, cheat code 5.4H. What are we talking about? This is kind of cool. This is my favorite type of math, geometry. I love shapes, lines, angles. I love figures, okay? And so this whole cheat, this whole cheat code is about perimeter and area and volume. Perimeter, area, volume. So we're talking about two-dimensional figures and three-dimensional. Area is the size of a surface. Okay, so let's say this is five and this is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? There's seven spaces. And then we'll say one, two, three, four, five. There's 35 cubic or square units there. Area is the size of the surface, okay? Perimeter is the distance around. So the perimeter is all the way around. So in this example, area is 35 square, square whatever, okay? 35 squared units because it's... And then perimeter is what's 5 plus 7 is 12. And then this side is 5 and this side is 7, right? So 12 plus 12 is 24. Okay, and we'll say that this is feet, squared feet. And this is 24 feet. Area is the, 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 the space that an object covers. Perimeter is the, uh, the, the distance around the object. Okay, so this is cool. More vocab. Geometry has a lot of vocabulary because you have to be able to use words to describe concepts. So here we're talking about the area of a base. That's exactly what we were just talking about in the last. The area is the, the, the space covered by the object. Okay, how much space does it cover? Volume, it talks about how much stuff can you put inside of an object. Volume is for three-dimensional objects. Okay, so... Length times width times height. Volume is going to be, if each of one of these cubes is a unit, is a cubic unit, then how many could you fit inside of this? It's got three wide by six long and four tall. Well, what's three times six is 18. 18 is our area. That's the bottom layer. And then four tall, what's 18 times four? And uh, 4 times 2 is 32. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 1 is 72. This prism has a, has a volume of 72 cubic units. The height, how tall is the object? It's 4 tall, 4 units tall. And the number of layers, so that's number of layers equals height. That's height. So I have a, this picture broken into layers. And then the cubic unit, that is just one of these cubes. That's a cube, one cubic unit. Okay. Formulas to find some of these terms, to find volume. Volume of a prism, of a rectangular prism, is going to be length times width times height. So area is length times width. Volume, we add the H, we add the height. Length times width times height, or length times width times depth. Another term. Volume of a cube, length times width times height, well, with a cube, it's like a square, right, but three-dimensional. Each side is the same. So it's the same number, you know, 4 times 4 times 4. It's okay. And if it's 4 times 4 times 4, great. It's the same number. And then volume. Another term, another formula for volume and, that you're going to have. Base. So the base times the height. Well, what's the base? That is equal to area. Okay, we're going to practice all this stuff. <laughs> That's a B for base and area. <laughs> I did that on accident. <laughs> uh, okay, number one. Perimeter, area, volume. Let's, let's look at it. A local restaurant was framing a mirror in the shape of a pentagon. Each side of the frame measured three feet. It cost $7.50 per foot, not including tax, to build the frame. How much did the frame cost for the restaurant's mirror uh, before tax? Okay, $7.50 per foot. Each side is three feet, right? Hmm. So let's just do this one side first. So what is $7.50 times, because uh, we're talking about the frame all the way around, $7.50 times three, zero, uh, 15, 
Can I have my one twenty one twenty two? And there's one two decimal places multiplying by decimal. So there's two decimal places. One two. Twenty two fifty. Okay. And how many sides are on a pentagon? A pentagon has five sides. One two three four five. So let's do twenty two fifty times five. 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 5 is 25, 2, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. How many decimals? 1, 2. So our answer is $112.50. $112 Boom. All right. Remember, it's a video. Push pause, solve the problem, and then check your answer later. Find the perimeter of the triangle in centimeters. Perimeter all the way around. So side one plus side two plus side three. So 26 plus 29 is uh, 15. Carry my one, 55. 55 plus 36 is 11. Carry my one. And 9, 91. 91's our answer. That simple. Okay, last question, and then we will move on to the next video. We're going to have two videos for this topic, for this cheat code. Rectangle, R-S-T-U. R-S-T-U is shown below. The area of the rectangle is 108 inches, square inches, 108. Okay. If S-T, here's S-T is nine inches, what is the perimeter of this rectangle? We have to know what the, 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 the UT is, right? UT, hook them. Uh, so let's divide. Area equals length times width. So if we have the area and we have the length, we can divide it to get the width. So 108 divided by Nine. Nine goes into ten one time. And there's a remainder of one. Eighteen. Nine goes into eighteen two times. So that's twelve. Twelve times nine is one oh eight. Okay? So now we can find the perimeter because we know it's a rectangle, so this side is twelve and this side is nine. Nine plus nine is eighteen. Eighteen plus twelve plus twelve is twenty-four. That's our answer. Thirty uh eight plus four is twelve. Carry my one. One, two, three, four, 42. 42 inches is the perimeter around the rectangle. Thanks so much for watching these videos. Uh, we'll see you next time.